Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're gonna do a video from my phone. There's a reason for this. I said I'm a ham radio operator. I'm not gonna do very good on this video, but I'm gonna give her a try. Now, can you see that wire up there? That's what I use for an antenna. It's a homebrew G5 RV. 64 feet of wire on each end of that ladder lock there. Going from that oak tree over there two lots away to my oak tree, okay? Gets from 80 meters on up to 6 meters. So 1.8 megahertz into 54 megahertz with the right tuner. Now, how do I get that stuck in stuck up in the tree. How does it stay there? Well, we got some nice Dacron, Dacron rope here. 3 8 inch. You see her? Tied off. And she's up in there. Well, how did I get it up there? Am I Superman? No. Did I fly a plane? No. Did I climb up, up into the tree? Again, no. I don't like heights very well, okay? But what we did do is make a homemade antenna launcher um, air. Now, I've seen some that are done by gas, but this one here came in a kit except the um, uh, sprinkler valve thing that we modified. came with a little turn knob thing on it. And you couldn't turn that quick enough, so we, we did that. And then we went to Walmart and got a fishing reel. It didn't come with that. I've been through the cheap fishing reels on this. Those little $7 ones didn't work. Uh, this $60 one uh, seems to work pretty damn well. Now, well, it's on there. I'll show you the whole thing. This here we modified. This here we modified. Like I said, that little turny thing. That is a... Uh, the heck kind is that? <laughs> uh, uh, some kind. Of, it's like twenty bucks at uh, Home Depot. Less than twenty bucks for that. So you're probably gonna have about seventy bucks into this. Maybe a little bit more with the fishing reel, depending what kind of fishing reel. I kind of like the closed face ones. But if you want to use an open face for one or a. Um, or what's called it fishing, um, that's up to you. You know, it, it could work. Now, we've got to fill it, so give me a break. i got to get down here and fill it. Now, we got a little nozzle deal here hooked to a tank. Yeah, the yard looks bad because of winter. Winter took a toll on me here. You don't want to go over 30 pounds. And I just about know. Make sure your button is pushed. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try for that board there. Well, we went a little bit over it. All right. We went a little bit over that board in the neighbor's yard. And sometimes my cat likes to chase this damn thing. But we put it up in the tree. Here, when we bring this pellet back, I shall show you. We put it up in the tree, okay? Bring it down. There is sand inside here. There is sand inside here. Bring it down. Unhook this. Hook a rope to this. Bring it up in the tree. Other end of the rope, we hook the wire. Boom, she's up in the air. Okay, let me show you some things here. Now, in my table of junk, and it's in the neighbor's yard, he don't care. This is the, that Rainbird, that's what I was thinking of. It's a Rainbird 16, I think it is, or 19. Now, what we did is uh, pretty much, you take this off, take this off, plug up that hole. This hole here, you put one of these in it. Um, you're gonna need a uh, tap and die. And a few other things. You get some good epoxy glue. Glue it up inside there. Get the right cup links on it. There you go. Now, this is the ladder line we were talking about. That's up in the air with it. 
And these are those pellets, homemade pellets I've made. And yep, drop it, Joe. Drop it. They're filled with sand. Got a little hook thing here. I've lost so many of those things. Yeah, I know. My yard is... Mr. Winter was not good to us down here in Florida. That's what's left of my grapefruit tree right now. But it looks like it might come back to life. There's my maple tree. That took a toll this year. Go over here to my mango tree. Yeah, that's, start, that's starting to uh, bloom a little bit. So we might have some mangoes this year. We don't have any hardly any left. But this is my mess, okay? <laughs> but maybe in the next video we'll talk about SDR radios. Uh, the, the next video I do on this, it'll be a while. But... This is an SDR radio. Uh, you can pick these things up for really, really cheap, like 30, 40 bucks. If you got a ham radio license, maybe we'll do a video on that. Let me show you a picture of this again. Got it tied off to that little white thing. If you can see that way back there, that's the balance. That brings the ladder line into the coax. And you got it hooked to the coax, hooked to a tuner, and hooked to a radio. And later on, we'll do a video on that. I didn't want to get on the roof. You know, it's a pretty new roof job I just had done. Didn't want to get up there. Don't like heights, like I said, as it is. So, but with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her, give her a like up. I surely would appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment. I'll be seeing some comments. Yeah, that's the neighbor's yard. That's not mine. I don't have no toilet in my yard. Yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Want to see more videos like this or others that are on the channel. Don't be shy and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video or broadcast here. Yeah.